Jeremy Cook here, and as you may or may not know, I make something called an Easy Fan 2 board, which powers a Raspberry Pi fan or, or really any other sort of small load up to 600 milliamps. These are, these are made by PCB manufacturer PCB Way, who actually sponsored this video and, and does does good work for me testing. I involved some sort of interesting arrangement with a fan and hooking things up, and it really got to be cumbersome after a while. So what I decided to do was make my own fixture with pogo pins and an AT Tiny 84 a uh, CR2032 battery and a, a switch, which is necessary but just barely because these things just sip power. The one cool thing is the uh, LED slides in there. I'll kind of show how it works. It's kind of a press fit, you might say, but really now that I've got this going, all you have to do is put this on here and turn it on. So you put it on there and it lights up. It's just blinking at 500 milliseconds, the test program, so yeah. So if it doesn't blink, in theory, it, it's not it's not working. One thing I thought about was actually making light here to make sure it's on or off. That'd probably be useful, but it'd complicate things a little bit and take some power away from this LED. In theory, I should be using a resistor on there, but I'm not. So yeah, put that on there, turn it on, and testing out. So I can probably get, get these done a whole, lot, but a whole lot faster than what I was doing before. And it's a nice little, neat little project. So I'll follow along, I'll do a little build and kind of explain the CAD. This 3D printed fixture is actually based around an Easy 85 board that I made that, that mounts two Easy Fan 2 boards to it by default. All I really had to do was space it out between this and this. One thing that I thought was, was kind of clever about this, if you section it, you'll notice that the first row of pins is at one level, second row of pins is at the second level. So no matter what happens with this, if you solder it poorly or, or whatever, as long as you've got those grounded to the bottom, you're gonna be at the same level. It's gonna check it nicely. The other thing that I thought was kind of cool is that these front pins, they didn't really do anything except they've, they've actually hooked up to an LED. This shows that the circuit's intact. What I did, rather than soldering things on here, it's, it's designed in such a way that basically has to twist around and go back. So so basically it's gotta go out, flare out, and then go back and put some mechanical pressure on it, like a, like a spring. So this actually hook holds the, the pogo pins in as well as the led the second revision actually just worked i just plugged it in and it, it held it nicely which was which is awesome programming of course was quite easy it was just a matter of using the blink sketch the standard blink sketch modifying it with pin mode four and putting that to blink digital right four high delay 500 four low delay 500 just basically blinking on and off really really easy with all that settled let's get on to the build So with this new fixture, hopefully I can make quick work of my Easy Fan 2 boards. And then this is a blank PCB that I got from PCB Way. So if I put that on there, it does not work as it shouldn't. So, so that's good. Yeah, that's good. I guess I could even speed up the blinking speed so that I don't have to wait for it to blink a couple times.
been good, 100%. My EZ85 breakout board, which is pretty much exactly spaced for this EZ Fan 2 board. So this made a really nice breakout for this. I think I'm going to see this in a lot of upcoming projects because it's just something that I kind of needed. It's a small board, breaks out the AT Tiny 85 slash 45 slash 25. And yeah, it makes it a lot easier to use than what I was thinking before, some sort of freeform circuit or something. So there we go, a nice pile of uh, Easy Fan 2 boards ready to go, checked and everything. Special thanks to PCBWay who sponsored this video and made the Easy 85 boards here that are used for testing. They also make the Easy Fan 2 boards that are under test and assemble components to them. As for what I was doing before to check these, I was actually hooking them up to my, to my 3D printer's Raspberry Pi. I had this whole, uh, whole wire set up and yeah, it worked. It worked okay, but obviously it was a little bit cumbersome. I had to like line up all the wires and stuff. Then I could switch them out on and off with this thing to make sure it was flipping on and off. I mean, it was fine, but I think this is going to save me a lot of time. Of course, I guess the question always becomes, if I do this, it took me quite a while to design this. Is that going to save me more time than it does in the end? I guess it depends on how many of these I sell over, over my lifetime, but hopefully it will. And if nothing else, I got to make a cool video and learn a new technique for plugging things in. So yeah, I'd say I consider this a success one way or another. Thanks so much for watching. I'm sure you'll see more of the Easy 85 board as well as the Easy Fan 2 boards in the future. This is Jeremy Cook signing off. Now I find myself questioning whether I turn this on or, or off. Maybe light would be a good thing on this.